how you guys doing out there today it is friday september 7th at about 9 a.m and this is rabid rabbit and i'm extra credit and we are up here on the top of cutthroat pass on the pct headed for beautiful canada in about two or three days I'm just coming off of zero i got the opportunity to visit my very good friends doggone and extra credit who you may recall i was hiking with down in the in the desert section and uh we've we stayed friends and stayed in contact all this time and i i promised i'd drop off on my way through and here i am so uh we're down now to about ooh, about from here 55 60 miles or so to the border 55 miles to the border another eight miles into manning and this little journey will come to an end at last. Uh, extra credit volunteered to walk me up here and make sure I didn't get lost on the trail. And uh, <laughs> her trail junction's just right here beside us. We stopped up here to have a little breakfast before she leaves me. And she'll go down Cutthroat Trail back down to beautiful downtown Mazama. And uh, join her wonderful husband, uh, Joe, who I think is actually hiking up the trail to meet her some. So they'll uh, hook up together again and... Um, Doggone is uh, off to the fair today uh, to take care of some business he's got there. So, got to see him this morning. But, hey, uh, doggone, if you're watching this out there for any reason, thanks for your hospitality. Thank you, Dana, for putting up with me in your house and uh, really enjoyed it. So, guys, uh, got to put this phone away eventually if we're going to get to where we're going. And... Um, you probably won't be seeing me with extra credit again for a while, but take a good look, everybody, because she's there for now, and maybe we'll catch them down in Park City, Utah in the not-too-distant future. Hey? Yeah. Oh, okay, dope. Okay, guys, we just said goodbye to extra credit just a moment ago. She'll go her way. I'll go mine. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the mountains out here around me. The smoke is cleared. They've had a lot of fire around here, and... A lot of smoke and today it's beautiful one of the other things i wanted you to do is get a good look at the vegetation here as you can see that autumn is coming uh to the northern cascades here and and some of the colors here are quite beautiful um but we're gonna hope to get out of here before they change too much more uh another thing that's worth noticing is that the trail up here is actually really quite nice uh, I was a little concerned about, you know, climbing over rock and everything and that those devilish guys that built this trail would figure out a way to make it super hard right at the end. But, but uh, looks like it's not going to be too bad. Just a nice place for us to enjoy. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. of it rabbit fans it's uh pretty scenic pretty tall and uh 
it's also pretty cloudy we may get some rain we're not far from our campsite about a little over a mile and uh we're gonna head down that way in a minute get a little water there's a spring there make some dinner crawl in bed and crash how about that we all deserve a rest we've done about something like 5700 feet of elevation today anybody deserves a rest after that but folks uh that eats up just about all the rest of our elevation i mean there's going to be a climb or so one day or two days like 2000 feet but ha that's nothing all right we can handle that so uh we got the worst out of our way pretty big mileage day today i think we're going to end up doing about 24. it's about 20 minutes to seven here and you can see i'm kind of crowded back in my tent we had just a little bit of sprinkle it's threatening rain here tonight but i don't know i don't think we'll get much we might get some I had a really good day today we, we hiked about 25 and a half miles by the time it was all said and done so we we've set ourselves up real good to uh finish this trip in a very easy three days we have about six miles or so to go to hearts pass we get to the border we got we're done with the hike the through hike is finished once we get to the border but we have eight miles still to, to hike into Manning Park. I didn't see a lot of hikers today. I did run into two hikers that I know that I've hiked with. One of them is a young man by the name of Alex. Alex is a, um, a professor of philosophy at Boise State University. He's taken a sabbatical. Well, he's been hiking the trail, but he's going to He's gone as far as he can go and he, he, because he's got a flight coming up to go back to the UK. So um, he's, gonna, he's, he's already heading back. He hiked up to Near Hearts Pass and he's hiking back to Rainy Pass. So that's him. Uh, other gentleman's Tinker. Tinker's a few years older than me. You guys may have seen him in some earlier videos. Just a heck of a nice gentleman, but it was good to catch up to him again and see him and know that he's doing okay there's not a lot of people out there on the trail that i'm seeing um i'm in a pretty large camp area here tonight with water source and i'm the only one here so uh, when you got water in a big nice camp area normally somebody else is going to be there it's still early but um i'm not really expecting anybody to show up uh my name is ron i've hiked the trail before we're up here uh some kind of pass near Hearts Pass. And I'm doing trail magic, which I love to do. It's fun hanging out with the hikers. I don't have to hike. I don't have to sweat. I've been up here about a week, and I need a shower and a shave. <laughs> All right. And I've had plenty of people, and it's been a blast. So send more hikers. I got stuff. I want to get out of here. Thanks. Okay, a bridge over the middle fork, no handrails. Maybe that's why the sign says bridge under construction, not open for use. Um, I'm betting not many people pay much attention given the uh, alternative to using that bridge. Hey there, Rabbit Republic. This is the uh, Daddy Rabbit here. Uh, coming to you from my next to the last night in this tent now i know you've heard that before but i'm pretty sure this is it i'll camp tonight to, so far we're camping alone uh, there's room for a few more tents here last night there was room for a lot of tents nobody showed up we did get rained on and over the course of the day once or twice today, i took my tent out while i was taking a break kind of dried it up some been seeing all day hikers that uh going back up Hart's Pass, who've gone down now and been to the monument, completed their journeys, and for whatever reason, they're not entering into Canada, so they're coming back to Hart's Pass. We're just about there, guys. Now, I will say we're, I think we're just about equal distance right now between uh, Hart's Pass and the monument. So, any of you guys that, that are going to chicken out here at the last minute, just put your hands up and let me know right now. 
and you can take the first trail back to Hart's Pass and get off. This rabbit's heading for the border. Now, we're not that far away, actually, because to the monument, we're only 10.2 miles as the crow flies. Unfortunately, I don't fly a crow. I got to walk, so it's going to be uh, closer to 20 miles. We shouldn't be too pressed. We got about 2,000 feet of elevation to gain tomorrow. That's nothing. You guys have done that. You can do it in your sleep. Tomorrow, we got just about a seven mile shot to get back on the PCT. And from there, we got 11 miles down the monument. Do our little celebration. And, uh, and we're going to head into Canada. So I uh, hope you guys have your documents in order. Because if you don't, you're just going to have to stay on this side. That's all there is to it. Well, good morning, guys. Today is Sunday. Possibly September 9th. I'm not sure. Looking out there, you can see that fall is starting to fall. But back there in the back of that pass, somewhere back there, is Woody Pass. And we get there, that's going to put us back on the PCT with 11 miles to go on this hike. And we're going to do it. Uh, feeling pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to take a shot at making it tonight. Or just staying with the original plan and going in tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to get hiking and figure out where I get to and how tired I am. Got this little chipmunk right there on the squill. He's got a, he's got a big pine cone. I chased him away, took his pine cone with him. I'm trying to eat it. I'm trying to eat it without any disruption. Yeah, he's got to have a meal, man. Don't run off. Yeah, take your pine cone with you. It's gonna fight me over it, it looks like. Well, guys, isn't that beautiful? Of course, I'm having to point the camera straight up almost because I'm laying down. Over there, that's probably the last snow we're gonna see on this little trip. And that little path right there coming up is the PCT South closed because we just finished the fire closure right here where I'm sitting. And now we're gonna go up and on around. It's a little bit farther than I thought from here. It's still 11.4 miles to the border. And then uh, it's now saying 8.3 miles after that to uh, get to uh, Manning Park. So if I do that tonight, it's gonna be a night hike, at least part of it. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to get moving so I can make a good decision down the road. Uh, thanks for staying with me, team. Let's keep going. Oh, I'll uh, tell you what I'll do. I'll stand up and give you a peek off the backside over here, which is also fairly majestic. And that, that valley you're looking at out there in the center of the screen is where I hiked up through this morning. So, Get back on the road, we got a monument to touch. Well team, somewhere over there in those mountains, somewhere in the view, is Canada. Congrats, we're almost there. A little bit more. Fasten your seat belts, team rabbit. I made the call. I just decided we're headed for Canada now. We'll be down there in a couple hours maybe three, but uh, we're headed that way today, one day early. Thought I'd share just a little bit of this with you. So we're hiking out. Well, first we got marmots going everywhere on the trail looking at us. Yeah, checking us out right there. And uh, beyond that, we got a really nice trail. Let's hope it stays this way to the border, but uh, maybe they decided to Make that little victory lap there a little sweeter with a nice trail. We'll see what happens, team. God, I'm sure I'm glad to have you guys along with me. I'd, I'd have hated to do this trip alone, and I certainly haven't done it alone. Oh, one more thing. I've been hearing about a certain trail angel follower of the rabbit who's made appearances at White Pass and Rainy Pass. He's been asking about me. I'm really sorry that uh, I didn't meet up with you. It was super kind of you to try to 
uh, help me out in any way and even nicer to help out total strangers out there that you did everybody spoke really highly about the treatment and everything so thanks very much all you guys sitting on the sidelines and wondering you ever get a hanker and go be a trail angel you won't know why you're doing it necessarily but it'll sure give you a good feeling after you've done it all right got to get back to some serious hiking here <laughs>